Hey everyone, sorry this is coming to you later than expected. A lot of you have asked for my Dark World Agents deck profile. And here it is. It's uh, I think it has a couple little tweaks than what you might have seen. Um, and I also have another version for you coming up uh, directly after this. Okay, as you can see here, it plays two of the big bosses. And because I only had room for two, it plays two of the chaos monsters. Um, because this deck does not have a lot of back row in regards to traps, I mean, yeah, Book of Moon, I guess, counts, but in regards to traps, I do play a Gores instead of a Trag, as you can see down here on the side. There's a Trag. You play two Snows because it's the best searcher. It gets you your dealings um, and obviously any other Dark World monster. And you'll see the other version I have plays a Gates. So you can kind of pick which one you want. Um, this one was a little more heavy on the agents, so that's why it's heavier on the monsters, and runs three Venus instead of two. Trans Arch Fiend is in there in case you're running up against a uh, Shock Master and they call spells, or an Aturia Beast, maybe even a Sheehan, whatever. So Trans Arch Fiend's in there, obviously to get back your Grapha or something removed from play if you can't make a Levier, or uh, you have a Grapha removed. A Browse in there for draw power and tour guide targets. Honest is honest. Uh, you got to run the two Earths. Uh, it's a great Surger, Tuner, and, and maybe exceed into a uh, Gachi or a Phoenix. The Shine Balls because of Venus. Maxi because the format's still very quick. And two Valor. I mean, Valor and Gores are really your only main deck answers uh, to save you if you have no monsters. I mean, if you do have maybe one, you could draw into an Honest. That doesn't guarantee you very much, though. So. A lot of destruction nowadays. Okay, standard spells. We literally need to go through those. Only two MSTs have a third in the side, but the two MSTs are in there mainly because you have so much destruction between these two monsters. You don't really need much more, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, my control. I wouldn't really call it techie, but it doesn't need to be in there. I like it in there because you do run two Earths, two Veilers, and a lot of different um, you know levels. You run pretty much eight all the way down to one um well no you don't run five but everything else that's a lot guys so you can pretty much exceed into anything or tune into a lot of things between these two monsters uh this is for consistency thinning i guess you might call it draw power but i just call it thinning power card destruction and um book of moon are fluid i like card destruction it gets rid of extra venuses in hand or even a third shine ball if you don't need it. And then these three are in there because they're great. Uh, I had three threatening roars. They work well as two. I'll let you guys kind of choose that. Those, those last four cards are pretty fluid. Uh, side deck is not anything to really talk about. It's uh, it's just kind of something I threw together. Uh, extra deck, you don't make a lot of fours. And here are two of my favorites. Uh, there's so many good ones, but I like these two. Um, 10 tempos, kind of a, just a throw in. You could put a another rank two. You could put a you know another Zen mains, uh, whatever you feel like, or you could just not put any of that and put a mist form in there. So lots of good choices there, and pretty standard on our synchros. Okay, off to the other version. This is the virus version that is more focused on dark worlds. So you start with this, and uh, as you can see, it runs. No max C in the main. I probably would take the bus out because you run so many brows over here. And you might put in a max C back in. That's fine. That would work. Uh, it doesn't run. Um, let's see. What else doesn't it run? It doesn't run two. It runs two Venuses instead of three. That was the other big difference. Okay. So the monsters are pretty standard. But as you can see here, there's a Gates. And there's the big viruses here. Okay. So... You know, these are fluid. You just kind of, if you want to run the Solemn Brigade, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong. Well, I guess it's not much of a brigade anymore, is it? Uh, two DDVs, and you side into pretty much a pure Dark World deck. So 14, well, 13 out of the 15 cards in the side are to side in. And you can pretty much take out, you know, your agents. And uh, I'm not saying that would surprise anybody, because it really wouldn't, but it would... People wouldn't expect the EEB to get hit, you know, to come at them. And that is why Gimmick Puppet is in there. Because even though a lot of people run uh, to Heliopolis, and he is amazing, 
Uh, Gimmick Puppet is a decent ability, but is it's an EEV target, and EEV is uh, deadly nowadays, especially when you're running up against Macro or Windup or E Hero or any of those decks that run a lot of traps. Um, they could really kill them, you know. Maybe even if you had a, some balls and you wanted to run it, say spells against Samurai or effects against more males, if you could bring out a shock. Uh, master, but for not for your deck since you can't do a lot of that EEV is your answer. Um, and the rest, I put corn in there as another four because you know you don't really run ex more fours than you did before. But corn is another uh, DDD target. I think it deserved to be in there. Um, the deck doesn't run on us, so probably instead of Maxi, I take the tour bus out. We'll just do that right now for honest. So, you know, I don't know. I didn't have Honest in there because it was, you're switching to a Dark World deck and you don't really want Honest. So I'll let you guys choose between that and Maxi. You know, if that's what you really want to do is run the Maxi. Um, the rest is standard. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you guys. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And tune in next time for more good deck profiles and hopefully some great videos. And uh, I guess you could call this one of my Make It Your Own Dark World Agent segments. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy playing this deck. Later.